Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred on outside a very cold White Hart Lane, but let's just say the performance definitely warmed our hearts. It was Tottenham Hotspur 4, West Ham 1. I've got Chris with me. What did you make of that, mate? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, another team have turned over. Um, going on this uh, you know, long, unbeaten run. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, pretty really pleased. I can't think of many performances uh, with such depth and just all around for 90 minutes totally on it the whole time. I mean, I can think of the uh, the Chelsea 4-1 on New Year's Day, but even that, that was a bit more end-to-end. -end. Just West Ham were never in it today. It was great because I think, uh, you know, they've got a great away record this season and, um, you know, Tactically, I think we got it so right today. I think everyone um, really wanted to win. Every Spurs player wanted to win. Um, and they played for the fans. And it, it just seems to be a really good atmosphere at the moment, being a Spurs fan. Yeah, it was completely rocking in there. I haven't heard the chanting so uh, incessant, the chanting or anything like that for, for a long time. Uh, the man of the match was given by Sky to Harry Kane, but I thought Moussa Dembele was unbelievable today. Absolutely brilliant. I, I know like before, like in the summer, we were talking about new signings. It's, it seems like Moussa Dembele is a new signing yeah. because... Um, you know, last few games for us, um, he's been absolutely superb, and I can't see really how um, someone else would take his place in the team. Um, I know Deli Ali is obviously not going to now be playing against Chelsea um, suspension, but it's nice because the, a lot of the players are now getting the rotation, and uh, you know people are getting their chances. And it's not, it's, it's now about the, you know some of the fringe players now taking their chances and, and really getting in the team and, and playing well. Yeah, I think Lamella will come straight back in for him. I would have thought, yeah. or he can bring Mason in and push Musa further up. The, just having those options though is so unlikely like Spurs usually have usually you know you lose one of your best players and you're absolutely shitting yourself basically but yeah like you said we've got amazing up to send so that Chelsea game thinking about it you know obviously we can go in with confidence can we turn them over definitely um, you know when we're turning um, you know West Ham over today we turn City over here 4-1 you know it's not only that we could have scored seven eight goals um, today um, you know I know some people might think that's an exaggeration but you know we've hit the crossbar we've hit the post um, you know Harry Kane one-on-one -on -one, you'd, you'd put your, your you know mortgage on it that he was going to score that and um, you know we're creating loads of chances and defensively um, I don't remember really uh, you know I know I'm only a young Spurs fan but um, the the defensive quality we have at the moment, you know, everything's being cleared up. You know, the goal we conceded today was due to a mistake. Yeah. It was, you know, it wasn't due to them playing well. Um, so, you know, it's really good. Yeah. Really, really excited. Totally agree. So, quick prediction: Chelsea next week. Um, Chelsea next week. I think uh, two 0 to us. Um, and the thing is, when we're picking up points like this, yeah. there is no reason at all why we shouldn't be in that top four at the end of the season. Yeah. Um, even even be up the top, you know, two or three. Yeah. Totally agree, guys. Let's know if you agree with what Chris had to say in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at SpurredOnTV. Thanks a lot, Chris.